Hello viewers, this is your host Sushil with a new video for you to watch. In this video, I will explain you how morph transition can be used for Zoom application in a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Friends, on your screen you are seeing map of India in which Swachh Sarvekshan 2020, which was done last year. That is a competition amongst the cities of India having varied population in which it is judged which of the city is the most clean and most advanced. So now let us get back to our main topic how to do zoom in the PowerPoint slide or PowerPoint presentation using morph transition. I'm sure you must have watched my earlier videos regarding morph transition. Morph transition was introduced in PowerPoint as an application in transitions in year 2019. Since 2019, it is widely used. Let's get on to how to do zoom using morph transition. So friends, you are seeing approximately eight slides on your screen. There they are. In the first slide, one sees the map of India and the best five cities chosen in year 2020, having population greater than 1 million, that is 10 lakh. Going to the second slide, what I have done, I'll explain you. I have basically zoomed up the map and the text has been written as it is. Going to the third slide, I have just zoomed the slide such that the area of the slide covers only first city, that is indoor, on your screen with the scores that with the score that indoor has scored in 2020 next slide i have put in surat which is number two city next slide i have put in new mumbai into the visible area of the slide and well i have done that i have Ensure that none of the details are deleted or hidden from the slide. The next one is with Vijaywada, number 4 city and second last slide is having number 5 city that is Ahmedabad and in the last slide I have again retained the first slide as it is. So if you can see slide number 1 and slide number 8 are both the same slides. Now, when I go into a PowerPoint presentation, I will be seeing morph transition happening in between successive slides of the PowerPoint presentation. So once I had done with all these slides, I had prepared these slides, I chose slide number 2 to slide number 8. There it is. I chose them with shift key and after I chose them, I chose morph transition. So once the morph transition was applied, the duration between the slides can be set from here. I set it to 7.5. Once it was done, I went in PowerPoint presentation mode, function F5, F5 key takes us to the presentation mode. And I have maintained this presentation slideshow using non-automated means that is I can transit through the slides by using my enter key or tab key or down arrow and up arrow keys. So here I am, I'm going to run the PowerPoint presentation in slide mode for you to see how the morph transition has been used to transit through the different slides, enabling zooming of the slide. So when I go to the third slide, I see indoor has been zoomed onto the screen. Fourth slide, that is second city, that is Surat. Then it is Navi Mumbai. That is Vijayawada. And then it is Ahmedabad. And once it is done, when I press enter, I go back to the original slide. So basically, this transition can be smoothened further by practicing the timing between the transitions and also by enabling intermittent slides. My intention of showing you this presentation was to explain you how morph transition can also be used for 
zooming in the slides. Please ensure that none of the details are deleted right from slide 1 to the last slide because morph transition and fade transition are two different things. If we choose to use fade transition, it will just fade the first one and go to the next slide. Whereas in morph, it transits from the actual one to the next real one. This transition can be smoothened as I already said. There are other ways of smoothing it which you can see my video of mod transition which I had prepared earlier and learn from that. So friends, this was a short video, a useful one. I hope so. You will enjoy seeing it and making use of it in your day-to-day -day PowerPoint presentations. If you liked it, kindly express your like at the YouTube channel. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to comment at the channel. Keep watching my videos. Bye-bye.